for ringing bells during the holidays and asking people to donate money to its red kettles. Yeah, but now the Salvation Army is ringing the dinner bell in the greater Waverly and Barclay neighborhoods. ABC2 News Jeff Hager joins us now with more on this story. Cool, cool concept. It certainly is, Kelly. Disaster relief, holiday toys for needy families, clothing and shelter. At times, it may seem like the Salvation Army does it all. And now it's gone into the grocery business. At first glance, it may seem like any other supermarket, but not in the disappearing landscape for grocery stores that is Baltimore. You know, they call these areas, some areas in East Baltimore, food deserts, and that's what they are. So, you know, you had them little trucks to come around and, like you said, we want the houses, get the loose ones and all that, but that's just the kind of areas we live in. But all of that changed today in this community as city leaders cut the ribbon at the grand opening of the first nonprofit grocery store of its kind in the country, the DMG Grocery, where it's doing the most good. This serves as a beacon for the rest of this community. If we can do this here, we can do this in other parts of the city. An idea which grew out of the riots almost three years ago. The Salvation Army will now provide convenient, affordable, and nutritious food options by running its own grocery store, training as many as 50 workers per year in the process. The nonprofit organization easily could have abandoned its plans for the 7,000 square foot supermarket after burglars struck three times within a week, including Thanksgiving Day a few months ago making off with every piece of copper, tools, building materials, meat slicers, and even tens of thousands of dollars worth of toys for needy children. But after that happened, the great thing is the people of the community began to knock on the windows and knock on the doors, and we'd open and they'd say, listen, we're sorry that that happened. We, listen, that's not going to happen again. Listen, we, we're, we're going to protect because we understand what's going on. And protect it they have, allowing the Salvation Army to replace everything that was stolen and to move forward to this day when it can finally deliver. To have a place like this where you can save money and, you know, eat good and fresh all at the same time, I think it's wonderful. On top of everything else, the Salvation Army will also use food that's nearing its expiration date at the store to prepare hot meals for the homeless in both East and West Baltimore. Wow.